7 Ways to be Humble in a Relationship Just like trust, love, and understanding, humility is one of the most important things a good relationship should possess. A relationship with two people being humble with each other also shows how the both of them respect each other. So how do we really humble ourselves when we're in a relationship? Here are 7 ways to show and inspire humility. 1. Admit your mistakes. Cliché as it may sound, but the statement nobody is perfect should be a constant reminder in a relationship. You can't expect your partner, or even yourself, to attain perfection because we're all humans and we do commit mistakes. Now it's also important to admit it with a pure heart. Getting angry or admitting you're wrong just for the heck of it is a no number. Accepting your mistake instead of protecting your ego is better than making things or your problems worse. 2. Talk less, listen more. Listening is a skill that many people lack in today's world of multitasking and obsession with technology. To communicate effectively with your partner, listening to him, her is very important. Letting him, her finish what talking and listening attentively shows that you care about what your partner's sharing with you. It shows how you respect your partner's side and it can also help in understanding your partner more. Your partner's opinion is as important as yours. 3. Be open to unsolicited pieces of advice. Unsolicited advice is inevitable once you're in a relationship and it should be accepted with an open mind. Instead of getting hurt or rejecting the feedback, reflect on that advice and apply it on your life. The process might be uncomfortable but it's for your own good. On the other hand, when you give your own advice to your partner, do it with sincerity. Try putting yourself on your significant other's shoes. You would feel hurt and offended, right? Say it in a calming manner and show him her that you are giving that advice with the purest intentions. 4. Learn to accept criticisms. Most of the time we feel hurt once we are being criticized by someone, especially our partners. But it should not be something that we should be upset of. Our partners are not only there for the hearts and flowers, they are also there to make us the best version of ourselves. Criticisms should be accepted wholeheartedly and should be used as a tool to improve the things that need to be developed. 5. Get used to being uncomfortable. Being with someone means accepting that you will have a lot of differences and sometimes have different views on things. It will test your patience and would get you out of your comfort zone. You have to get used to being uncomfortable. Most men would tend to hide their true feelings on other people especially when they're feeling weak. But humility will teach you that it's okay not to be okay, even for men. You don't always have to look tough. It's also a part of learning how to trust and find comfort on each other when you are in a relationship. 6. Be observant. Becoming mindful of your own actions and also your partner can help you in understanding both of your perspectives once the both of you are in an argument. That way, you can see the bigger picture that would help you resolve whatever conflicts or challenges your relationship are faced with. This could also help you assess the things or actions you do that needs to be changed. 7. Value your partner more. Challenges and trials are inevitable, but in the end, you still overcome those things and ends up being stronger than before. So it's important to be grateful for your partner for staying and fighting for your relationship despite all the things that you've been through. Being humble in a relationship does not happen overnight. It's a skill that needs to be learned gradually. You may start small but it's better than not trying at all. We all have our own pace and the right time will come where you can fully learn how to be humble. It may be hard to do it at first, but all of your efforts are worth it in the end. Finally, always remember that if you want to receive grace from God, you have to practice humility. For God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble.